Folks, York Region has not yet hit its breaking point. I'll tell you what I mean and then get into the latest home prices and insights for York Region for week ending September 27, 2023. This weekend, I was out with a buyer couple. We were in Vaughan, one particular neighborhood in Vaughan. We weren't running around Vaughan in general. One particular area, north end of Vaughan, homes are priced in this neighborhood between two million and three million. And in this neighborhood, there were 13, 12 or 13 properties listed in that category. All the homes are in that category. 12 or 13. That's a lot for one pocket. That's a lot of listings. Now, some of these listings. listed during the course of the year they've come off the market and relisted they didn't change their price it's not like they were listed at 2.5 million in the summer and now came on the market at 2.2 they were at 2.5 and they come on the market again at 2.5 or higher some actually listed higher thinking the fall is my savior we're gonna get more for our house now Yet there's 13 listings, they're sitting there. The last sale in this neighborhood was one property sold in August. There's not a lot of activity going on. Lots of listings, lots of competition between sellers. Buyers are looking, we see the cards, I can see when I book showing appointments, I can see other appointments, I can see people either being at the house before, when I arrive for my showing or arriving while I'm still at the showing for their showing. So we can see other buyers out there looking, but nothing selling. And the word desperate seller comes to mind because these days that, that expression, desperate, I said the word, multiple words, that expression of a desperate seller has been talked about and, and used to describe many situations right now in our real estate market, but York Region just isn't quite there yet. I know I'm talking about one pocket, but I've experienced this in many different pockets across York Region. These are sellers that are not so much financially strapped. These are sellers that have owned their properties for many years. These are sellers that I gotta believe would like to sell. I mean, who goes on the market for fun? Cause it's a lot of work to be on the market. They'd like to sell, but they're not so desperate. And if they don't get the sale they want, they don't get the number they want. Yeah, for sure. Some are gonna come down eventually, but others are gonna pull their property and come on a market some other time. That's York region. It's a little bit different than many other pockets across the GTA. York region, there's a lot of areas where sellers, they're just gonna sit and they're not gonna come down in price and buyers will have a choice, either come up or not buy in that area or wait for that one seller that really is maybe a bit more desperate and brings their price down. But so far, we've not hit that breaking point. It's a bit of a stalemate right now in many areas across York region. If you think this video can help somebody you know, please pass it along. If you get value from what we're talking about, subscribe. If you wanna speak with me about your real estate situation, selling, buying, it's really simple. Below this video in the description, there's a link to my calendar. Click on that, book a time that's convenient for you and we'll talk about whatever's on your mind. Now, let's get into the numbers. you're looking for a 3.6 acre lot to build your dream home in one of the most exclusive areas in King, check out the video at the end of this video. Let's get started here. Here's a quick summary. These are average sold price, Vaughn, Markham, or Richmond Hill. What happened to Vaughn way down here at just under 1.6 million average sold price where 
The other two areas, Markham and Richmond Hill, we got 1.86 and over 2 million in Richmond Hill. Well, let's have a look. We're going to start off with Vaughn. This is for detached properties only, broken down by week for a whole year. 12 detached properties were sold across the city of Vaughn. So all of Vaughn with the hundreds of listings, only 12 detached properties were sold. Two of those were at $2 million or more. Now, coming out of Labor Day, sales increased from 9 to 19 to 27, and we thought, hey, this is exciting, more action, more activity. Er, it's like the brakes were put on, 12, that's it. 12 detached properties were sold. Buyers, I, we're, they're active, we see them, they're almost doing their full job. They're, they're looking, they're booking showings, they're not doing the actually buying part, but they're actively looking, just not buying right now, or not for this week anyways. Average sold price plummeted to just under 1.6, 1,593,000. 1,593, really close to, it's actually a uh, little higher than where we were, our lowest price last year, September, September 2022. Now, the story I told at the beginning of this video, the two to three million dollar properties, tons for sale in this one area, nothing's moving though. These 12 sales are in the bottom part of that, in the less than two million for the most part, because only two sold at two million dollars or more. So that's gonna bring down the average sold price if, if a lot of the properties are much are more in the lower price point. Compared to last year though, 1593, still 7% higher than where we were this time last year. The median price is 18% higher than where we were this time last year. And when you have such few sales, man, the prices, you got peaks and valleys all over the place. Even the, the four week moving average, it's really tough to, to understand where are prices going? Overall, they have been trending down, but what's happening over this fall market? Really, really difficult to say. Of the 12 that sold, hey, it's only 12 for whatever it's worth, 67% sold at list price or more. That percentage is way higher than what we've seen over the last three months. And it kind of makes sense. If those properties that are being sold are more in the lower price point, well, there's gonna be more competition in those price points or at those price points. Listings, we expected way more listings. We saw it go up, we got excited, but it stayed at 85, now we're at 87. Active listings has been trending up, but not that much. Look at this, this is absolutely nuts. Months of inventory shot way up to 7.2. Be careful about, in your mind, thinking, hey, look at that, it's a buyer's market. Just, just be careful about that. It's a product of the fact that this one week, sales were way down, and that's the formula now being used to calculate months of inventory for the month. Assuming every week we're selling 12, well, this is the months of inventory. Now, there's over 350 active listings available for sale properties only 12 sold, for sure months of inventory is gonna be really, really high. But we'll talk about a buyer's market right at the end of this video. Here's Richmond Hill. Also, sales plummeted. Only 11 detached properties were sold. We did better the weekend before Labor Day there. Uh, so 11 detached properties were sold. Six, more than half sold at $2 million or more shoots average sold price way up from where we we were hovering just over 1.8 we're way up there now at 2 million and 40 thousand 2 million and 40 is 10 as 12 percent higher than where we were this time last year keep in mind only 11 sales six of those were at two million dollars or more medium price is 24 percent higher than where we were this time last year uh, of the 11 that sold Percentage, really high, 73% sold at list price or more. 
listings. Why are listings coming down? We expected listings to be increased. Is the party over with more listings? Are we not going to get that influx of listings that we expected for Richmond Hill? We went from 70. We we're excited about that 50 to 70, then 60. Now we're at 57 active listings. Sure, it's increasing, but you could barely notice the 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 increase in listings is just not that many out there months of inventory shot up to six months of inventory same example as vaughn sales dropped in richmond hill to 11. now we use 11 as the new norm and we project that those are going to of looks like it's a buyer's market but like I said we're gonna talk about that at the end of this video here's Markham sales also dropped what 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 happened in York region this one week buyers like hit the pause button and they were looking at properties but just no offers and or offers were maybe going in and sellers just weren't accepting these offers but nothing you know very few properties got sold so 18 sales was kind of the norm through the month of August. 18 were sold, five of those were at $2 million or more. Average sold price sitting at 1,861,000. 1861 is 6% higher than where we were this time last year. The median price is 14% higher. Price across Markham has been kind of flat, trending down. Now it's, it's tough to say. I mean, this week prices are up. Are they going to continue to go up and then, you know, that'll change the, the four-week moving average or are they going to remain flat? We'll see. 18 we said were sold, 39% sold at list price or more. Listings, nice big jump outside, you know, past Labor Day, nice big jump. But now, you know, we're just not seeing the, the, the massive amount of listings, active listings, is increasing you could see that months of inventory sitting at 3.8 months of inventory has been trending up here's condos now this is for all of york region condo apartments there's no condo townhouses in these numbers 34 condo apartments were sold 34 has been kind of the the norm throughout the summer has, so we haven't seen really a big change in sales. Two of those apartments were sold at $1 million or more. The average sold price dropped from where we've been the last few weeks. We're at $744,000. Uh, now, sorry, I said dropped. I, I was looking at the line here. It actually hasn't changed much. $747,000, $745,000, $744,000. It really hasn't changed much over the last three weeks since we came out of Labor Day. Compared to last year though, 744 is 10% higher than where we were this time last year. The median price is 6% higher compared to where we were a year ago. And outside of past Labor Day, prices went up but have stayed flat. Of the 34 that sold, 27% sold at list price or more listings we've seen a lot more listings with condos but it's like they've come down now that's it was it just you know two weeks of a whole bunch of listings and now we're going to see less or is it going to bounce back up again active listings it has been trending up Let's look at the summary when it comes to months of inventory. It really looks like we're in a buyer's market in a lot of these areas. I'm just going to have a little bit of a, a cautionary note there. The numbers, if you just look at that and nothing else, you're going to think it, it's a buyer's market. It's pretty clear. We're sitting, you know, months of inventory above five months of inventory. That's it. It's a buyer's market. It's not the whole story. Part of the characteristics of a buyer's market is that prices are, you know, really, really plummeting and trending down. And that's not the case. These numbers are based on this week's sales. 
Look, if sales go up next week, you're going to see months of inventory, sorry, come down if sales go up. So let's just be careful about jumping into the, it's a buyer's market. We're just not seeing the characteristics yet out there, but we're going to keep an eye on it and you're going to be the first to know. Have a great day. Now check out the awesome 3.6 acre property. Welcome to Fairfield Estates, one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in York Region. Now this residential lot is one of the largest at 3.6 acres and it sits high above the rest of the neighborhood. If you want everybody to kind of see what you're up to, this isn't for you this lot because this lot is totally private. Have a look.